Hello my fellow admins and welcome back to another episode of Jira Guides. Void.admin here and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a text template uh, to the description field in uh, Jira. So uh, let's start. In today's video I'm going to show you two ways how you can achieve this. First way is using Jira out of the box feature to create a context for description field where you can add this template. And the second uh, option, I don't know if you uh, recall, but you will, we will use script runner because it's script runner. You can do certain things with script runner where you cannot do with Jira of the box, right? If you, you can specify conditions, you can get whatever you want there in order to add this uh, description based on other fields or something like that, right? So let's get right into it. So uh, as you can see, this is the description field and uh this requirement is usually okay when someone opens the bug to create the bug you have this uh description and this description should have a pre-filled text template here right so usually for bugs you'll see something like this steps uh to reproduce and you have two dots and here steps for reproduce you have uh expected results like this like uh default testing or not testing like reproducing that bug and what the results and at the end you have actual results right so this is like something super basic right so uh, let's say that we also want to do uh, this text i don't know with this color right and now an important thing you will need the text replication uh for this as you can see this visual in the description field is based on the color, how you put the dots, right? But if you click on this text section here, you'll see the back end, uh, quote unquote, how you how that text is displayed in the back end, right? Because you have the visual where you can see this text as yellow, but you have how you can achieve to get that text yellow. So you have this marks as color and you have this color code and besides this, you see that you have this star mark, which will eventually, when you transition to visual, we will see this bullet point, right? So in order to achieve a bullet point, you need to put a star mark, right? So basically what we'll need, we'll need this text markup because this is like a wiki markup uh, in the backend that we are using in order to achieve this visual in the uh, description uh, field. So after you have your description, um, your visual description of the template, you can switch it to text. You just copy paste everything from here, control C, and now you go into the section of custom fields, not custom fields, uh, system fields, sorry, in the administration section. And here we have all the system fields that we have in our Jira, right? So we have this description field, right? So for a description field, you can create context in order to add these templates, right? So I know in which version of Jira, because I recall correctly that in version seven, we didn't have this, or maybe I'm mistaken, but this is like pretty new, I think with Jira version eight and nine, but I can uh, mislead you guys. I don't remember exactly, but you have out of the box feature on how we can uh, add this as a uh, text template, right? So you have this context and default values. You click on this action three three dots, and here in the in the configure field description, you have these fields come with Jira of the box, right? So because these are like system fields, and you have this context and default values, and here you can add and delete context depend on your needs, as it says. So you have this button. You click add context. You just give here a name, uh, YouTube, YouTube video. Right, and here you can put uh, some notes explaining what this context is for. And here you can apply the context based on issue types and based on project, right? And we don't want for all issue types, we just want for bug, right? So we select bug from this drop down, and for all projects, we don't want for all projects, we just want for this Scrum based project. And here we have the default value of the description, which should be marked as a text. You see, you don't have the two buttons, visual and text, because that's on the create screen of the issue. And you just copy, we just paste whatever we copied from this section here from the text, because we have the visual that we want to appear as a template. We will switch it to text so you know exactly how it, this is like 
uh, rendered on the back end via wiki markup uh, and here we paste that thing here and then you just need to click add and you just added a context for bug for this issue type bug and for this project right so now if we go back on our project we could click cancel here and when you press the create button here you have the template already added here so if you switch to task you see that that template disappeared because this is only for bug issue type that will appear as a template right so if we switch it as a text you will see the text that is behind it switch it as a visual you see that the actual template here this is basically how you do it via the jira out of the box feature but there is, there is a catch here you can only do it based on project. I cannot, so you can have one single context per project. So you cannot have multiple contexts for the same project. Let's say that for the bug issue type, you want this con this steps to reproduce expected results, but for task, you want a different template. You cannot achieve this with Jira of the box feature, which is this one with a description context, because if you want to add a new context now, you cannot select that project that already has a context, right? So now this is like the, how, how can I say this slightly? This is the limitation that this Jira out of the box feature has. And if you want to go past this, you will need to use a third party add-on, which is like our second uh, example here, a second way uh, how you can achieve this if you want to go in, I don't know, a step further and I don't know, just add based on issue type. Let's say it like this, you, you want for task to have a default value for description. If you switch it to bug, it will also switch to a different uh, text template in the description, right? So here you can also, if you want to edit this, you can put it for all issue types and then it will appear for all issue types, but this is the limitation this has. You cannot do it based on issue type. You cannot add multiple contexts, right? So. But if you do it, you can do it, right? You can do it with only this bug. If you want, if you have the requirement for a specific project, the client only wants it for bug and they don't care about the, the other issue types. There is no point in using a third party add on. You have this out of the box feature and you just do it with the description context on the system field. And uh, that's, this is the first way of doing it. And now let's get into the second part on how you can achieve this uh, using Script Runner but in a more complex way. Okay, so in this second part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this uh, text template for description using Script Runner. Uh, so you will be using Script Runner if you want to achieve this template based on another factor, right? Like in our case, we'll use an example where we base our description template uh, based on issue type, right? So. If we have a bug issue type, we'll have a certain template. If we have switched it to Epic, we have another template in the description, right? You cannot achieve that with Jira out of the box feature because you have only one context per project, right? So, but with Script Runner, you can do whatever you want, right? So we'll be using uh, behaviors from Script Runner in order to achieve this. And as you know, you, how you create a behavior, you just click on this button, you put here the name, you add the mapping and just create a behavior. And here I already have created a behavior in order to not to lose time with this video. And I click edit on this behavior. And this is basically the screen that you will see after you create the behavior. All right. So here in this behavior, make sure that you uh, don't add it as initializer. You just need to add it as server side script based on a field. And our field in our case is issue type because this is the field that is changing right in, uh, in our screen. So we have this script. I already have this script on, in my GitHub repository and I will be posting a link down below in the description on this video. I created this long, a long time ago, but I made some changes specifically for this video and you can find it in my GitHub repository just to copy paste it, right? And you can make changes however you want to this uh, script template. So here I added for issue type, don't forget this. You copy paste this and I'll try to explain as much as I can because this is a simple thing, it's not zabaduba ziba, let's say like this, it's, it's a simple script, right? So we have some definitions here, we defined uh, our templates based on issue type, right? So here I have, so I, I know, like you can put here whatever you want, you can put x, bx or something like that, right? But we have bug description, so 
someone else, if it's like um, reading our code, they know exactly what variable has been used afterwards, right? So we have the variable like bug description, which is a string definition, but make sure that you add a double quote, a triple double quote uh, here, because you need to, uh, like, you cannot put it just like this double uh like single double quotes right you need you need to have triple double quotes for opening this and for closing this in order to have uh the proper template here and here you just need to add the text visualizer from the template that you have in the description right so as i said in the in the first example with jira uh, out of the box template just build your template in the visual uh, uh button here you just add i don't know you just add here test test two uh you have this with a color let's say it with uh, i don't know light blue right and now you don't have this you just want to add an emoji besides emoji i don't know you want a code placeholder right and because of this you see visually how the template should look but you cannot paste this in your uh context or in your script you need to place the wiki markup code which is found in the text button here so if you click text it will be switched to the visual wiki markup and you just simply copy paste this and you'll be using in your script in my example here i have like some bullet points and no format with just like a small box there where you can write stuff and for epic i have a different writing here and a different text for task uh at line 20 and 21 i simply define uh, the variable as a description field and issue context because we need to identify basically this is the description field that we are making a change on and this is the issue context from the issue type name because we need to find the name in order to know on which condition we need to add that description template right so here you can use an if and if statement inside an if right at the moment here i i have this if get action name in create issue and create because i want to specifically have this be working on the create screen when someone creates an issue if you click on the edit right if i'm clicking on edit of the epic i don't want this description to be overwritten right i want this description to be as if, because if i'm doing some change in the description i don't want to get this description this, this template when someone edits the description because this will overwrite whatever has been already added in the description right so we don't want this behavior script to work on the edit screen we only want on the create screen so here in this if statement we also have a switch context where uh, a switch statement which we switch the context which the context is the get issue type name right so we switch between issue context values and we find if we find bug we set the form value of the bug description, which is uh, defined here. If we have epic, epic task and so on, right? And you can use an if statement here. You don't need to use a switch, but this is how I uh, created this uh, behavior using the switch in an if statement, right? Maybe this sounds weird, but it, I, I like how it's looking, right? And it's easier to read uh, rather than an if statement. So now I have this... Uh, uh, this behavior is just save this just make sure that it's not uh, disabled right so now if i'm going back in the project and i click create button immediately uh, it's open as a bug and you see here if we switch to visually because we already had we were like switched to a text you will see that we have a response error problem which is the template if we switch to a task we will see the specific template for that issue type in the description right so this is working only on create screen right you see epic create if we click edit in this this will remain the same description that was already there right because this behavior will not run in the edit screen so uh yeah this basically this is how it's working you can do whatever you want if you want this description to be shown based on another field you can do that uh, you can um, edit this behavior as much as you want in order to achieve your requirement that you have. But that's pretty much it. This is how uh, you can achieve uh, 
the best way to add um, a text template into the description field. If you're using Jira out of the box, you will do it just only once uh, in a project. If you're using Script Runner, you can, I don't know, juggle a bit in order to uh, achieve a more complex way of uh, doing this. But this is the only thing that I have for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, just like it. A subscribe will also help a lot. And as I said, I have my GitHub repository that I always link down below in my videos. I have other videos on my channel if you want to uh, watch those also. And that was pretty much pretty much it. I, by, by the way, don't forget that I have a Discord channel. If you want to join the community, if you have questions for me or for other members from the community, you can join the Discord. This down in the link uh, below uh, in the description of the video. And that's pretty much it. Until next time. Peace.